Hi, in this lecture, you will learn how to perform a binary modular exponentiation. So the typical question would be, here is a modulus n, and here is an m to exponentiate, and here's an e an exponent, calculate m to the e mod n. So this obviously relates to execution of the RSA function. Now remember, for RSA encryption, the message needs to be padded, and what you actually exponentiate is uh, the padded message. Now, here we're just focusing on how to efficiently evaluate m to the e mod n. And the method, which is called binary exponentiation, is actually what computers use. So it's not just to make it easier to do it by hand. Now, guess what? The, the, the first step of this binary exponentiation consists in the decomposition of the exponent e, exponent e in binary. Okay, So uh, if that's not completely natural to you, here is one method to decompose e by hand in binary. And it consists in dividing it by 2 uh and taking uh until the quotient su successively until the quotient is zero and then taking the the sequence of remainders so the first time you divide by two you have 391 which is two times 195 plus one okay and now take 195 and divide by two so 195 equals two times 97 plus one, then 97 is two times 48 plus one. Now 48 is two times 24 plus zero. 24 is two times 12 plus zero. 12 is two times six plus zero. Six is Two times three plus zero, three equals two times one plus one, and one equals zero times. Uh, sorry, uh, two times um, two times zero plus one. Okay, now the um, the sequence of remain remainders that I have here gives me the digits, okay, from low order to high order. Now how to see this, um, now one way to see this, I'm gonna just gonna write it down uh, real quick and we're gonna go back to uh, that sequence, okay? So um, one way to do this, to, to see this, is to notice that what it would say is that 391 and I apologize, this is going to be a very long sequence of product. Probably won't have space on my screen. But it's 2 times 2 times 2 times 2, 8 times. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And then uh, what do I have? 2 times 1 plus 1. Okay. And then close the bracket and then add your remainder. So you're 0 plus zero, and et cetera, et cetera. So you see the, you get the gist of it, right? So that's a horrible product, but in the end, what it will tell you is that this is two to the eight plus two to the seven plus two to the two plus two to the one plus two to the zero. All right, and we're gonna use that to calculate m to the uh, power of 391, because what we have now is that m to the e is equal to m to the 2 to the 8 times m to the 2 to the 7 times m to the 2 to the 2 times m to the 2 to the 1, uh, sorry, not a plus, whoops, times m to the 2 to the 0, which really is m. All right, so. What we need to do first is calculate those m to the 2 to the i for i equals 0 to 8. And what, how we do this is just by repeated squaring of m. Okay, so I'm going to go real quick. Of course, um, this would take probably um, a little bit of, I mean, you have to perform, we use at least a calculator if you want to uh, make that efficient. Uh, so I'm going to cheat and use my cheat sheet. So m square mod n okay, is 823. Okay, now to do m to the 2 to the 2 mod n, 
that's actually the squaring of 823. So I don't need to do to calculate the four things here. I just take my previous value mod n. And that is 784. Now m to the 2 to the 3 mod n is now 784 times 784 mod n. And that is 234. m to the 2 to the 4 mod n. That's 2 to the 34. And you're seeing this very repetitive at this point. Mod n. And that's 292. I'm not doing this in my head, by the way. So m to the 2 to the 5 mod n. Now that's 292 times 292 mod n. And that's 164. Okay. Now I'm going to have to scroll up a bit. So m to the 2 to the 6 mod n. That's 164 times 164 mod n. And that is 515. Now m to the 2 to the 7 mod n. That's 515 times 515 mod n. And that is 564. And finally, uh, m to the 2 to the 8 mod n. That's uh, so 564 times 564 mod n. Okay, so you see you don't have that many multiplications to do. You have some, but not too many. And finally, now, I need to multiply together. So which ones do I need to multiply? I'm going to use a red color. So I need to multiply m. So I guess I forgot to have, but I have m. That was m to the 2 to the 0. OK, so what do I need to multiply together here? I need to multiply m because of the binary decomposition. And then m to the 2, all right, m to the 2 to the 2, OK. Uh, uh, actually, uh, yes. And then, um, and then m to the two to the seven, and m to the two to the eight. Okay, so these are the numbers that I need to uh, multiply together. Okay, and now uh, you can just trust me that if you multiply all these numbers together, you're gonna get that m to the e mod n equals two hundred and eighty-nine. So okay, so you are. Uh, um, a few multiplications away, so four multiplications away at this point from getting the result. Okay, so you can see that the number of multiplications uh, uh, that is needed in order to count to raise uh, m to the power e is much lower than e. Okay, you don't have to perform e multiplications to raise to the power e. In fact, you're more it's more logarithmic. Okay. So that's it. Now you know how to perform binary exponentiation uh, in order to evaluate uh, the RSA function. Thank you for listening.